On an even more frantic note, fans of the Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter movies should be besides themselves. Home Media Magazine reports that Warner is going over the top with the launch of the blue. I guess over the top would be turning my hat around backwards, and it's a movie reference. Go search IMDb. Anyhow, basically, Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince coming out in Blu-ray. They're going to do a community screening of the film via BD Live. Finally, something interesting via BD Live. Basically, 100,000 people will be able to listen to Daniel Radcliffe. That's Harry Potter, by the way, since I'm sure you haven't seen any of these movies, uh, Robert. No, but uh, he was and in And David else. Yates, the director. Didn't he play the bad guy in Sin City? <laughs> Amongst other things. So 100,000 fans will be able to listen to the pair, answer questions while the film rolls on. So I'm excited. This is actually, this is something that sort of fulfills, everybody talks about BD Live. Like, BD Live will save us all. And this... That's actually kind of cool. I think some of the Disney titles offer a way to sync up the viewing experience with another person, right. and then you can both like start the movie and watch it together in a sense. But get your whole Bill Gates thing on with your. <laughs> if you can deal with dealing with uh, Sony or Sony's with uh, Disney's login procedures and creating <laughs> the account in order to actually access that feature, but that's another. Do you still discussion. have to send in blood for that? Pretty much. Okay. Pretty much. I, they make it way too difficult. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not entirely sure the whole BD Live experience makes up for splitting the final movie or the final book in the series across two movies, unless they get super deep into the plot, which would be cool because the books are usually much thicker than the movies, but hey, it can't really be any worse than The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolution. No! <laughs> you know what? I actually rewatched both of those back to back over the weekend, over the holiday. Did you finally look at them and go, dear God, what was I thinking? Epic. They were even better. You have to watch the, the second two movies back to back. They go together. The first one's almost a standalone movie. The next two, perfect. Like, Perfect. Like peanut butter and chocolate. <laughs> like really a is. Reese's peanut butter cup of cinematic delights. I was watching it in glorious high death, no doubt.